Let's me go. start it off. Um, hey, welcome everybody to the up, everybody? Hump Day Show. Woo! So I am your host with the most Los, aka Public Enemy Fifty Nine. Uh, somewhere on this screen, we got uh, uh, JP, aka Neatster One Hundred One, and we are coming at you with our NFL season preview. Yeah. I'm Here ready. Yeah, I'm ready for some football. Football's back. Football's yes, back, and there's been a lot of moves made throughout the off season, uh, and some teams that haven't made too many moves. So. Uh, uh, a lot of rookies, good new rookies in the league, fresh, fresh uh, meat, just fresh so, new faces. There's got to be, there's always a free, uh, 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 um, an undrafted player that just explodes onto the scene. And then uh, there's some players that haven't signed the contract yet, and they're still saying now as of this recording. So uh, we're gonna go through each and every division. We're gonna give y'all our division winners. We're gonna tell you who we think are gonna go to the divisional championships, and in the end. We're gonna tell you who we think wins the Super Bowl. So we uh, yes. started yes. off with the keep in mind, like, Keep in mind, last year I said the Rams. The Chargers yeah. let me down. The Chargers let me down, but I was yeah, close. But, but yeah. Uh, you were wrong about the other side of the of the, of the league. But anyways, uh, we're gonna start off with the AFCs. We got the Patriots, the Bills, the Jets, and the Dolphins. Who you got? I mean, uh, easy, hands down, the Patriots, the Jets, uh, they're still in rebuilding mode. They do have a quarterback in Sam yeah. Darnold. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I'll Le'Veon Bell, too. Uh, I just... Yeah, big move in the offseason. Uh, Le'Veon gets a contract. Maybe not the contract he was seeking, but mm -hmm. I think I think he's going to show off, man. I think he... I don't. I think the don't? offensive line oh, is not okay. that... I feel like the Jets' offensive line is not there yet. They're good. They're not great. But I feel like really, really... Hands down. Who is the wide receiver for Sam Darnold? Name me one wide receiver. Uh, they got uh, uh, Cr Cr Crowley, who was with the Redskins mm -hmm. last year. Now what, the wide receiver too? I mean, they yeah, really yeah, don't yeah. have much. So I, I, and Miami's in full rebuild mode. Like they pretty much traded almost all their players as we true, all know, true. which we'll discuss with the AFC South with the Texans. Um, so, and the Bills, they do have their mm -hmm. quarterback. Uh, what's his name? Um, uh, fuck, what's his name? Their quarterback, he, he was a rookie uh, last year. Uh, it starts with a J. J. Yeah. <laughs> Help me out, Elias! Help me out! <laughs> uh, but, uh, so they have their quarterback, um, and they they gave away Sean McCoy. They pretty much cut him, and he signed with Kansas City. So I just I just don't see nobody beating the Patriots. The Patriots still have Josh Gordon. Uh, they signed Demarius Thomas. Uh, they still have Tom Brady, uh, and they still have their greatest weapon, probably the greatest weapon in NFL history, I, I which do, is Bill Belichick. I to totally agree with you. Uh, and the greatest quarterback of all time, let's not forget Tom Brady. But eh, uh, eh. I believe that Jets are going to finish second in that division. I, I agree. Uh, but second doesn't do I, shit. I think the, yeah, true, true. They're not going to, they're I, not making the playoffs. The Jets. I think Jets no, the, uh, they're not. I think they go in the playoffs. I think they go in the Period. Period. But I, I really like their young uh, core. I, I, I think Jets have a good upside. We'll see. Upside. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, and for the future. For the future. Many years. Uh, <laughs> hey, true, true. Uh, so we're going to move on to the AFC North. Uh, we got the Steelers, yes. the Browns, the Ravens, and the Bengals. Okay. You got? So out of, I, man. I'm, I know people are going to hate on me for this. I do not think Baltimore will be win the division. I feel like their running quarterback, Lamar Jackson, cannot throw. I know it offends uh, some people. Uh, and last year was his first season, really, right? True. Playing most of them. I mean, he, he, he you guys, uh, we it's haven't seen a, everything from him. Yeah. Well, I mean, I would say based on his throwing motion oh. and and the way they uh -huh. did the, 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 the play throwing it, motion okay it just it's just bad uh but but defensively they're stacked so baltimore will be in in the competition mm -hmm. but i don't think they'll win um i think hands down is between the the pittsburgh steelers and cleveland browns and, oh, oh okay. yes and i okay. can this is my personal opinion i feel like pittsburgh will win the division um, okay. I feel that that Cleveland Brown will probably be in the wild card. 
I uh, oh, okay, I like that. I, I do agree with you. It's gonna be between the uh, the Steelers and the Browns. I know we haven't seen really the Browns really in action. Uh, we've seen um, uh, what's his name, uh, the quarterback, uh, Baker Mayfield. Uh, yeah, we we see all Baker Mayfield last year. He came. I don't in, like him. I like him, and he, and he played really well. Uh, and now they brought in a bunch of pieces around him. I feel like something about Baker's swag, man. I feel like he can really lead this oh. team to do something crazy oh. good. So they're winning the division. I, I got the Browns winning the division, man. Wow. I think defensively, they're super solid. They've been you think working so defensively? I don't think so. I think yes, that's a weakness. I think the, no, I think defensively they've been working on it throughout the years. I think they're at a good spot now. They can win. The defense can win games for them. And the offense, I think it's going to pop up, man. I think Baker has that swag. He's going to go into that division. I can't wait to see the division games of this. Yeah, uh, I agree. I agree. Uh, the rivalry games of this division because it's just going to be hard knock football. And, I mean, that's what we love to see. So, well, the a and, and, and to be honest, Roethlisberger, to me, is just kind of like on his downfall, in my opinion. Yep. Okay, I, I I feel he's like he's on the downside. So I'm, if, I I know it's a little wild, you know. I might I might not. You're picking up. Nobody might, but I'm picking the Browns. Wow. I mean, look for sure, for sure. Out of this division, there's gonna be a wild card, and there's gonna be a. I agree. In this division. I agree. So, so I think Steelers, Steelers get the wild the card and Browns get in. <laughs> the reason I pick Steelers is because of the experience and because, I mean, they're still great. They have Juju Schuster, they have James Washington, they still have James Conner, they have Ben Wallisberger, their coach is a decent coach, So yeah. and, and they're more experienced, so I'll give them the edge to them. Uh, but I feel like the Browns are coming up, but you're right. It's, I, I feel like two of them are going to come out. It's going to be uh, good to watch. watch. Yeah, it's gonna yeah, be yeah it really is. I'm, I'm excited. Just yeah, for that I'm division excited. alone. Just yeah, for that division that division. Just that division. Too uh, bad. Was, Bye, Cincinnati. Oh, fuck Cincinnati. <laughs> they, they still got the same coach? Yeah, yeah, Marvin and, Lewis? and they got Andy Dalton. Marvin, like, Marvin Lewis still has that job. Yes, and then AJ Green got injured for the season, like at the very the beginning. Fuck? So okay. dude, this, this is bad, it's bad. Anyways, um, let's go into the worst division in football, the AFC South. Uh, <laughs> we got the Jaguars, the Colts, the Titans, the Texans. Um, me personally, I got the Jaguars winning the division. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, with the addition <laughs> of, uh, what's his name, uh, from the Eagles? Nick Foles. Uh, Nick Foles, who to me, I think should have win, should have kept the job in Philly. Uh, Jaguars acquire him. He's a Super Bowl winning quarterback. You have the defense established. Um, I think this team right now is ready to take control of the AFC South with the lackluster moves uh, the Texans have made. The lack of, uh, the, um, uh, you know, of playmakers in the Titans losing Andrew Luck for the Colts. I think the division is right for the Jaguars to take control finally and uh, yeah, and win the division. Might be uh, like a really tight, like you know, eight and eight, nine and seven, ten and ten and yeah, six. Yeah, because they all have winner. they all have really hard schedules. Um, yeah, so it's it's, uh, it's probably like really hard. It might not take a lot to win the division, but maybe nine and uh, six. I got, Jagu I got yeah. I got the Jaguars winning it. Uh, what you what you think? Well, I feel like whoever gets nine and six or ten and five is going to win that division. I feel like the schedule's too hard for all of them. I'm not afraid of the Colts at all, uh, even with Andrew Luck. I, I felt like he was he was, he was already going to have a down year, but now it's like for sure, for sure. And then I don't think they're planning on winning. They want to get a quarterback. Well, oh, they just uh, extended Jacoby Brissett, gave Brissett, him a raise. Yeah. So I mean, we'll, I mean we'll who see. knows? I'm who not. Knows what we've seen from I'm the not guy. scared of them. Um, I, I'm not scared of Jacksonville at all. Uh, Jackson, You're not. I'm, I'm okay. not. I'm not. I, I feel like uh, Nick Foles has shown previously before in the, in the regular seasons he's not that good. Not saying he's bad. I'm just saying he's not that good. There is a playoff, Nick Foles. Uh, but I don't feel oh, like yes. I'm, I'm not. I'm not scared of Jacksonville uh, as far as regular season. Uh, I'm definitely not scared of the Tennessee Titans with Mariota. Y'all can keep Mariota for another 20 years. <laughs> um, so I'm not scared. So I feel like... I'm not scared of the Texans. I feel like the Texans will come out of this division. And it's not because I'm being wow. a I just don't see it. Really? I don't see it. I don't see what it. What defense? 
I feel now like they have no they have, they, they they have, have no JJ Watt, they have JJ Watt, they have Happy League. They have merciless. You can just pass on the Texans all day. They have merciless. They got good uh, rookie cornerbacks. Kareem Jackson is gone. Thank fucking God that Kareem Jackson is gone. Thank but they God. Have no cornerbacks. They, 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 thank God they gave away Damian Clowney. He was injury prone. Uh, always shot the gap. Never close the gap. Um, not only that. Uh, their best I, run stopper is I gone. feel like their safeties are pretty nope. good. Uh, I feel like their quarterbacks are up and coming. Um, you're, they're going to run on the fly. I think they're going to have issues at the very beginning. But all you got to do is double digit. Offensively, and you're done. offensively, no one's touching your quarterback. They, they did a really good job in getting. And they paid too much, but they. I, yeah, I do agree the with future. the move. I do agree with the move. 2021, that, 2022 is going to be trash for the Texans. I, I do agree <laughs> that the left tackle was a great move for the Texans. Um, even though they pay too much, I don't agree with what they pay, but the move I do agree with. He's 25 years old, one of the best left tackles in the league. He's you a good left tackle. Up, you shore off your guard. You get us too much. Though. You shore up your right tackle. So I, I have, uh, I feel like Texas should win this division. I think they should. Be, I think but they be, won't. I, I think it'll be between Jacksonville and the, the Texans, and uh, I, I think I think Texans win win this division. All right, all right. That's but what you're going like on. I said, nine and six, ten and five. They're gonna have a really bad yeah. record. All right. Uh, next, we got the AFC West. Uh, you know, we don't have to spend too much time on this division, but we got the Chiefs, Chargers, Broncos, and, and the Oakland. soon to be Las Vegas Raiders. No, it's Oakland still. Oakland this, this year. year. Next yeah, year. Yeah, next year. So I feel like Kansas City's gonna come out of this division. Um, they're, what? They have, no. <laughs> they have too much talent, and but what? honestly, a part of me thinks that Patrick Mahomes will have a down year, just like Dak Prescott. Like everybody was like on Dak Prescott's nuts because he had like that one fake ass uh, rookie season. Even I knew he wasn't that good. And even with Patrick Mahomes, I'm getting that feeling too. So they I just added Lashawn McCoy as a backup running back. I mean, I still don't see it, but I wouldn't. I'm, I'm picking Kansas City uh, because of Andy Reid to win that division. Uh, I don't think the Broncos have much of a chance. Um, I, I don't think, man, I think the Chargers, I feel like the Chargers should not make the playoffs simply because of the fact they always go to the playoffs and suck ass, especially <laughs> every time they face the Patriots. So I feel like they shouldn't go. Uh, I am going to root for Oakland. Um, I think I, I, I'm going for Chucky because Chucky ain't scared of no Patriots and he needs to get that payback for that bullshit ass call. Uh, that they took away his his, his, his Super Bowl uh, when he was in Oakland previously. I, I am excited to see <coughs> this division also. This is one of those mm -hmm. other AFC divisions I'm excited to see because, like you mentioned, you got the Chiefs, you got the Chargers, already playoff contenders. You got the Raiders trying to get in that conversation also. Yeah. Broncos, which have always been consistent, right? So it's, uh, it, it's going to be an entertaining division to watch. I agree. I do think the Chiefs win it. I do see a wild card coming yes, from exactly. this division. Uh, that's exactly what I was going to say. My heart wants the Raiders. Yeah, right? for Chucky. But my but mind says the San Diego, Chargers, right? yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, I want those Raiders. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, something about their team. Uh, like you said, I love Chucky. I want that team to succeed, right? Uh, so it would be entertaining to see them come out of the division, but... Uh, Look, I, I, I am I am ninety percent sure what I just picked is going to occur. Like the people are gonna win a division. I'm ninety percent sure. My only two is is that this division and the AFC North. I feel like Cleveland could be the wild card, uh Oakland could be the wild card, or Chargers could be the wild card. Out of yeah. these two divisions, there's gonna be a wild card, but mostly everything is sewn up, which is what makes the AFC a little bit easier to predict. Uh, especially when it comes to the Patriots division, that's the most shittiest division in football. Uh, it's been shitty division okay. for years, so. Yeah. I don't know, man. The AFC sounds pretty shit. Anyways, um, next we got we're going into the NFC. Oh, real quick, uh, while we're in the AFC, so we got an idea. You know, we picking New England, the Chiefs. <laughs> we got a. Uh, uh, Jacksonville Texans. We got a uh, Steelers Browns. Who do you think comes out of this division in the end of it all? 
honestly, I'm gonna go with the old faithful, uh, Bill Belichick. Uh, ah, I, I, I always trust. Hear it. I trust I Bill Belichick. I don't trust Tom Brady. He wouldn't go to another team and be great. Well, it doesn't matter. They're one, one in the same. Bill Belichick has shown without Tom Brady, he'll go 11 and five and still almost almost make the playoffs. Um, uh, I trust Bill Belichick. Uh, he's never done nothing that can persuade me not to against him. I don't trust Bill O'Brien. I don't trust the coach of Pittsburgh. I don't trust any other coach outside of Bill Belichick. I want to say, I want to say this real quick. The loss of Gronkowski for that squad is huge. Tom Brady is losing his favorite target, his his go-to target, his third down target, his clutch game target like it's gone Gronk's retired you don't have that any longer I think that's huge man I think the loss of Gronk another year added to Tom I think yeah they go into the AFC uh, conference game but in the end I think the Chiefs up and coming that young Mahomes fire young that youthfulness I think that gets him into the Andy Reid. Andy Reid always title. Andy Reid always chokes against uh, Bill Belichick. Yeah, it's true. But uh, I'm picking the Chiefs. Don't get me wrong. I love my my Patriots. I love Tom Brady, greatest of all time. But at some point, it has to end. And I don't know. Maybe this year. So uh, I got the Chiefs. Um, so let's go into the NFC. Uh, we're going to start with the NFC East. <laughs> uh, Eagles, Cowboys, Giants, Redskins. Who you got? Uh, I got Philly winning that division, hands down. Uh, uh, I do not see Washington doing much of a noise. I think Washington will uh, win a couple of games. Um, but I, I really don't see much. The Giants, ooh, the Giants, um, you know, Patriot killers. But right now, they're... They're just in rebuild hey, mode. Hey, that rookie looks Daniel Jones, Daniel right? Jones, uh, well, I mean, it looks pretty solid. Yeah, well, you can look good against, you know, second stringers and third stringers, as we all know, yeah. with, with Brock Osweiler. But, um, you know, like I said, I, I'm giving this hand down to Philly. Uh, I feel with Carson okay. Wentz, they have Alshon mm-hmm. Jeffries, they have Zach Ertz, they have one of the best offensive lines in all of football. Not only that, they have one of the best defensive lines in all of football. Great quarterbacks are getting like some some in, uh, injuries. Uh, some cor- some corners got injured last year, and they're coming back fully healthy. Um, this division is theirs. Um, you know, I'm not gonna lock it in and just say, "Oh, it's all the Eagles every, all day, every day." I think right now, as of this recording, Ezekiel Elliott is not signed. <laughs> I think if Cowboys get him signed, get that man on the field, I think Cowboys got a really good chance, man, because this guy can, uh, you know, control the game, slow down the game, keep the ball in the Cowboys' hands. I think their defense is decent enough for the, for them to win get, uh, close games. Um, but it, it's all dependent on Zeke being on the field. If you're giving the ball to and leaving, leaving it to Dak Prescott, they're not going to win many games. Uh, but if Zeke gets on the field and this guy can control the tempo of the game, I, I think Cowboys got a really good chance of winning the, uh, this division, or at least competing in this division. So I don't want to just say, oh, Eagles all day, no, every day, even though... I guarantee it. If, if, if I already Zeke, guaranteed it. Uh, they're not going to make the playoffs. I'm guaranteeing it now. Uh, <laughs> I'm guaranteeing it now. Um, just like we saw last year uh, with the Rams, the Cowboys were right on high because they beat a team that was all injury prone or whatever. And they went against a real team, and that real team spanked them with the CQ Elliott. So uh, that, that's the formula right there. Let that Prescott throw and run like a moron, and, and that's it. He, he, he reminds me a lot of Matt Schaub, except the running Matt Schaub. Uh, uh, he, he can't let's not go past, that far. He, he can't throw past 20 yards. Uh, this, this division is fantastic. That's kind of true. That's kind of true. And he has his targets, BC's out. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's really dependent on on uh, Z getting back in that squad. But, uh, hey, you never know. Daniel Jones could come in and just take over the hey, whole fucking division. Daniel Jones come and takes over. I'll be like, what the fuck? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I'm in a toss-up. I'll put, uh, you're gonna commit. I'm going to go Eagles. Fuck it. Um, all right. So, next we got uh, NFC North. We got the Vikings. We got the Packers. We got the Bears. And we got the Lions. Okay, first off, let's take the Lions. The Lions ain't making shit. Lions ain't doing shit. Okay. Uh, Boom, they're out. (laughs) Um, 
So I feel like the wild card is going to come out of this division. Um, I honestly, and I'm sorry, guys. I like Aaron Rodgers. I don't think Aaron Rodgers is coming out swinging the ball and tossing the ball around. This division is. I, I think he will if he stays healthy. If that's Not with that offensive Rodgers, line. Not with that offensive right. line. But if the man is taking a beating and gets injured early in the season, now we're just in. in we're just watching games at the end of the season with one-legged Aaron Rodgers, and that's not fun, right? The that's Bears so have that. an all-pro defense. They will win this division. Oh, wow, I, I, okay. I do not trust Trubisky, Trubisky. Yeah, Trubisky, so how you whatever his name is. Without I don't trust, trust but I trust them. that defense. I trust Khalil Mack. I think they win this division. I think uh, David Medrano uh, nuts all over himself and squirts all over himself because Chicago will win this division. Um, I feel like Minnesota will be a wild card. I just don't trust Kirk Cousins. I really Kirk don't. Kirk Cousins is trash. They should I still say to this day, they should have kept the fucking U of H. Oh, here we go. <laughs> um, <laughs> they should have kept his ass. The miracle in Minnesota was all him. But no, they want to stick with Kirk Cousins, pay him millions. He's not the quarter a franchise quarterback. Vikings are not coming out of this division. I want to make that clear right now, right here, right now. Uh, I think Packers win the division. Oh wow! I think I think Bears got a pretty good chance of coming coming out as a wild card. But I got the Packers contingent on Aaron Rodgers staying healthy. <laughs> and all I gotta Aaron say Rogers, is, they're, they're, the Packers will lose this Thursday, guaranteed. Oh, guaranteed. Uh, first game of the season first tomorrow. Game. Correct. Tomorrow is uh, uh, Packers at uh, Bears, correct? Yes, I'm I think picking I got Bears. Bears, man. I, I mean, I, no, I got Packers. I got nah, Packers. you just said it. You just said it. I got Thank Packers. You. Thank you. I got Green Bay. I got Green Bay. Uh, uh -huh. Next, we're going into the NFC South. Uh, we got the Saints, the Falcons, mm -hmm. the Panthers, and the Buccaneers. Well, we'll take, the, take the Buccaneers out. Um, Boom. Ow. Get, I, get the fuck out of here. I feel like Cam Newton is in clutch. Um, I feel like he's had, isn't. He's had mm. several years to prove it. Um, he had one good year, and all the other rest of the years have been subpar. Uh, so I am not going to give him uh, the chance to win the division. I think it's between Atlanta and New Orleans, and I am going to go with the most experienced clutch quarterback in that division. Uh, which will be Drew Brees. So I feel like New Orleans wins that division. There could be a wild card coming out of this division as well. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if if um, if Atlanta takes it. But I just I don't trust Matt Ryan. But I do trust Drew Brees. I feel like Drew Brees wins the division with New Ex Orleans. Exactly. I don't trust Matt Ryan, and that's why I got the not only the Buccaneers but the Falcons not making it out of this division. Oh wow! I think. Cam Newton has something to prove. I think that all these years he's had a whole bunch of years to prove. He's been getting he's been getting trashed on. He's been injured. He's had a shitty team. I think finally he has a consistent amount of weapons. I think the defense has has been better. I got the Panthers coming out of this division with the Saints competing for that wild card. Wow. Um, You're going to put the Panthers over New Orleans? Look, man, the Saints have wow. had their chances. And, and to be fair, the Saints <laughs> have been screwed over by the NFL uh, uh, yeah, I agree. multiple times in the last years. I mean, don't get me wrong. I No one wants the Drew Brees to get another one. You know, deservedly. He deserves he to deserves advance one, yeah. at least to the, to the Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. I, I mean. Who wins it? I don't know. Maybe decide there. But the man deserves to make it to another Super Bowl Agreed. for all the fuck ups the NFL has, has done him for Agreed. in the last uh, couple of years. But in the end, I think Cam Newton finally gets his head on straight, stops letting the outside noise affect him. I think he comes through and plays hard this year. MVP worthy uh, season is upcoming from Cam Newton. I think Panthers get, get out of the division. I guarantee the Panthers will not win this division. All right, we'll see. Guarantee it. This is what this show is for. We got Tate. We found Tate. Uh, all right, next and last um, is the NFC West. Uh, we got the Rams. This is we a good division. We got the 49ers. We got the Cardinals. Who you got? Uh, first off, take the Cardinals off. They ain't going nowhere. Uh, I'll be surprised if they win four, four or five games. 49ers and Jimmy Garoppolo, they trust. I'm... 
I don't know. That fool's injury prone. You blow on him, he breaks in half. I, I just don't see 49ers without him. Um, and then he still has yet to prove himself. And he always gets injured after four or five games. So I don't know. I, I don't trust 49ers. I think this eventually comes down to Seattle Seahawks okay. and the Rams. I agree. And the only reason I will give it to them is because they have a better squad, which is the Rams. Because I do not trust their quarterback. Because yeah. I think golf is overrated. I think golf is overrated. He just got an too. extension. He just got an extension this earlier this week. So, but he has badass players. He has Woods. He has, he has Cooks, mad weapons. He has mad Chad, Todd Gurley, one of the best and offensive players in the NFL, and a great defense. You still got Aaron Donald there. Uh, you got uh, Akeem Talib. Uh, so you got great pieces there. Uh, so I, I, I feel like they'll win this division. I think Seattle could be a wild card. I just. Well, I would trust Seattle more if they had a better offensive line, and they don't. All right, all right. I, I, yes, Rams are great. LA, they got it going on. They got a great D, but that's the main thing you mentioned. You can't really trust trust Jared Goff when it is shown in the Super Bowl. Yeah, when it comes down to that crunch time, and, and it was the coach the guy too. Cannot, yeah, and Todd Gurley. The guy cannot take the pressure. Now, Gurley was injured, and that's why they didn't play. No, Gurley. it's not an excuse. It's not but an golf, excuse. No, but a great quarterback, man, when the ball is in your hands and the game is on the line, the Super Bowl, you you make plays, you make it happen. I didn't see that from golf. For that reason, I'm going to go to a Super Bowl a proven quarterback. Uh, I'm going to go with Russell Wilson. I'm going to go with the Seahawks. They stacked up that defense, adding Clowney on there. Uh, you got a healthy Russell Wilson back in the squad. I think uh, healthy Russell Wilson and a vamped up defense. I think they got a chance to come out of this division uh, leading it. Um, okay. As long as Russell Wilson stays healthy. That's the main thing with a lot yeah. of these teams. As long as these players stay healthy, uh, they can they can make moves. And uh, I think Seahawks finally uh, move out of the division first. I think Rams come out as a wild card. So I still think they do come out. Uh, they got a, a good, great squad. I think they're gonna cl clinch that wild card, no doubt. But I think the Seahawks take it. Um, now, I oh, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was gonna, I was gonna go right to where you were gonna go. I feel like whoever the, the, the team that there's two teams that can come out out of all of this and, and go to the Super Bowl. And I think it's gonna come down from last year: New Orleans versus Rams. New Orleans versus, versus the Rams. Okay, so you got New Orleans. Uh, oh, you mean like the NFC division? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, uh, but who you got coming up to the NFC? That's what I'm saying. It's going to be between the Rams and the New Orleans. Those are two. So you're uh, not picking one. I don't know which one to pick right now, but uh, I'll say it's going to be New Orleans or the Rams. One of the two. Damn, Honestly, uh, I'm going to go for New Orleans because I would it'd be fun to see Drew Brees actually beat the shit out of Tom Brady because Tom Brady hasn't faced a really good, good quarterback. Uh, to have a, a Hall of Famer go against another Hall of Famer and this Hall of Famer ain't scared of you, uh, uh, I, I would look really forward to it. Do, 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 I, 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 I think the, it's just New Orleans defense is what gets me. They continue to, in my, I, I think they have a lackluster defense. I, I don't think their defense That's is fair. great. You're kind of hanging your 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 cleats on mm -hmm. on Drew Brees and his performance, which he performs all the time. But I mean, when it gets to the playoffs, when it gets to those conference championships, you gotta just have more than a great playing quarterback. You gotta oh, stop great. the other team. Uh, I just can't say the Saints. I, I don't trust golf to make it back. I, I can't say the Rams. I'm gonna go with the squad. I think is gonna like make mad moves. And oh man, I'm going. Uh, I'm going to Seattle, man. Wow! Against the Chiefs, two badass quarterbacks going at it. I don't see that. I, I, I that's who I got, man. It's I got terrific. Seattle. I got it's Seattle terrific. making it. Seattle has uh, too much shit to do on offense before they even get there. Hey, man, that's maybe what I one got. or two years, but no. Nah. That's what I said, and that's what I'm sticking to. Uh, okay. Uh, that's been it, folks. But who you uh, so you said New Orleans wins it all? I think the Chiefs win it all. All right, because well, we'll I got Chiefs see. against the Seahawks. I got the Chiefs winning it all. Leave, leave comments down below. Tell us who you think is going to win the division. Who you think is going to go to the Super Bowl? Uh, who you think you know sounds crazy? I know Lowe sounds crazy as fuck. 
So, I mean, hey, give us some feedback. Thanks for watching, guys. It's, uh, it's been the NFL. Uh, closing words, Los? Uh, hey, man, I'm excited for the new season. As you can see from our predictions, it kind of is a... It's up uh, in the air. It's up in the air. Anybody, it's up for anybody's taking. Uh, which team is going to stay the healthiest, which team is going to take advantage. Uh, that's yet to be seen, and that's what makes this NFL season pretty uh, pretty uh, exciting. So, uh, games start tomorrow. Let us know what you guys think. Like JP said, let us know who you think is going to win the conferences, who's going to win the Super Bowl. We want to hear what you guys think. Tell us how wrong JP is. I mean, I love to hear it. Uh, but thank you guys for watching this episode of The Hump Day Show. Season two is just getting kick-started. Uh, we got a ways to go. Trust us, there's a whole other stuff that's going to come up. We'll let y'all know when it's all ready. But thank y'all for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Thank you. Peace. Deuces.